Today, I'm calling on Congress to suspend the federal gas tax for the next 90 days through the busy summer season, busy travel season. On the day President Joe Biden called on Congress for a federal gas tax holiday, we went to the people he's trying to help most. Uh, that'd be great if he is able to make that happen because these gas prices are really hurt in everybody's pockets out here. I think it'd be great. Anytime you get a break off of this gas on anything, it'd be fine. That's a little help, but we need more help than that. We need it permanently low. You know, that's affecting everything. It's a ripple effect. Biden blames Russia's war on Ukraine for the historically high gas prices. The federal gas tax is 18 cents. The president wants to pass along 100% of the price cut to the consumer. As of Wednesday, the national average is $4.95. Michigan's average is $5.13, over $2 more than the price this time last year. The overall savings is, is going to be so small that consumers are not necessarily going to redirect those resources to entertainment, to the food because the dollar amount that you're saving is so small. Mark S. Lee is president and CEO of the Lee Group and part-time marketing instructor at Eastern Michigan. Lee says if the president can get Congress to approve his overall plan to temporarily drop the price per gallon by a dollar, it would make a dramatic difference. 513 now, and all of a sudden it goes down to 413. There's a psychological barrier that you've just broken. That psychological barrier is now that you're under $5. So to the consumer, that sounds much more palatable. And I think it's going to take a lot of pressure off of them in terms of the driving habits, in terms of spending dollars elsewhere. President Biden also called on states to suspend their gas taxes. Michigan's gas tax is 27 cents. Governor Gretchen Whitmer months ago called on the state to suspend its gas tax. Her office is also working on providing families a $500 tax rebate. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.